What is going on, Jeff fans? Matt O'Leary back with another video. Well, the rumor mill is circulating. Could today be the day? Mike Lombardi seems to think Hassan Reddick will be reporting to the New York Jets today. So why is this a big deal? Well, Michael Lombardi is the only one who's talking about this, so you have to take it with a grain of salt. But I will say there are few bigger Jets haters than Michael Lombardi, so I don't think he would be going out of his way to say something positive about the New York Jets. And in this clip, he did that essentially the entire time who, one, he claimed that Hassan Reddick could be reporting either yesterday or today. It didn't happen yesterday. Um, and then he went on to call it the dumbest holdout of all time. He is not in Hassan Reddick's camp. He was saying that uh, he believes people in Hassan Reddick's camp, meaning like people around him, the agent, the advisors, and so on, are frustrated with Hassan. The reason being, as he points out, Hassan Reddick has the opportunity to play for the New York Jets this year and then cash in on a new contract. If he holds out for a whole season, this process just starts all over again because he doesn't accrue another year and you'd have to come back and play for the New York Jets. It's not like the Le'Veon Bell situation because Le'Veon didn't sign his franchise tag, so he wasn't under contract. The Steelers still had his rights, but then after that, he became a free agent. So completely different. Hassan Reddick, if he doesn't play a single snap this year, will not be a free agent at the end of the year. He will still be a New York Jet, which is not what he wants. He wants to get the opportunity to be paid, and the Jets aren't doing that right now. So, like, I, I don't know what the end result here is. I've said for a while, I think Reddick's either getting some really bad advice, but... I mean, according to Michael Lombardi, that's maybe not the case because they're trying to get him in the building. Then the agent chimes in. Tori Dandy is Hassan Reddick's agent. He replies, unfortunately, I can't share the screenshot because shortly after replying, and then when I came upstairs, I was having my breakfast waffles, my gluten-free blueberry waffles for breakfast. And then after that, I came up and I was like, all right, I'm going to do this video. And I went to find the tweet and he went private because he was getting ripped in the comments, but essentially he was saying that Lombardi hasn't talked to anyone in Hassan Reddick's camp. So he, the, the agent is kind of de denying it, or maybe he's, maybe it's a leverage move. Everything, everything goes back to leverage. Who has it? Is it the Jets? Is it Hassan Reddick? Is it, or, you know, remember, is it the Jets or the Packers last year with Aaron Rodgers? The whole thing was just stupid and it's stupid now. I, I can't, I can't stress enough. I just want this guy in here. He's not going to play week one. Like you can't sign today and then be like, hey, two days from now. Good luck. Go out there and uh, and do some pass rush spins and try to try to sack sack the quarterback. It's it's not that simple for a guy like Hassan Reddick. I really, really, really hope, though, that Mike Lombardi is right or Michael Lombardi's right. Because I want a few hours from now this video to be obsolete, me having to come on and be like, hey, it's it's happened. Hassan Reddick has reported, you know, he's going to play, you know, he's not going to play in week one, but he's expected to ramp up and play in week two. That, that, that would make me happy. Um, I just think this thing's gotten way out of hand and I just I want it to be over. I don't want to have to come on here and talk about it every single day. That's one of the big storylines around this team right now. Can't just ignore it. So um, unfortunately, just having to do what we're having to do right now. So I want to hear from you guys. What do you think? Do you, is Hassan Reddick going to report today? Do you believe Michael Lombardi? Do you believe Tory Dandy? What was that with him going private? I don't know. Whole thing's strange. Sound off in the comments. I'm Matt O'Leary. We'll catch you next time.